Welcome to part 16 of The Godfather 2, and I think it's high time we proceed the plot by answering this phone. Fredo's calling after all, let's see what he wants since I'm back here in Florida. Hey, talk to me. You should go get a drink or something, whenever you get done with business. So now, we can just go on to our home in Florida and proceed on with plot. And we're just going to go a little bit into plot, because the majority of this part is us taking out whatever Maid Men is left in Florida. After all, I'm kind of sick and tired of those assholes hitting my businesses. Not kind of, I am sick and tired of them hitting my businesses. Just thought I'd point that out to everyone. So, the only way to remedy that problem is to get rid of them for good. So, let's hop out the car and let's go back to Florida and go to my safe house. Because after all, Are we're just having ourselves an today, innocent sir? drink with okay. Fredo. Enjoy the flight. What could possibly go wrong? And it's just a couple of Corleones hanging out. No big deal. Did those guys really think I wouldn't? So, since we're here. I'm gonna go snag a car. Stay close, all right. And I only brought one of my main men with me because, well, I, I had to steal something for a uh, officer, not an officer, for a corrupt official. I'll show off that corrupt official at the end of the part. But I had to steal something for that corrupt official, and I totally forgot to record. So, I'll just show off the corrupt official instead, and, um, we'll just roll with it, I guess. So, with that said, we're just gonna drive straight into my home. Okay, I didn't mean literally, and- OH FOR FUCK'S SAKE! I know this is supposed to be family friendly, but sometimes that can get really annoying. The whole bombing thing, anyway. I'll remedy that soon enough. Fredo, what's happening? I hope you don't mind. I made myself a drink. You want me to get you something? No, thanks. This heat, it's something else. On the rocks, keeps you cool. You got a point. So, what did you want to see me about? It's about Michael. What about him? I was just wondering, back in Cuba, when Mr. Roth... In case you did not catch those guys who were planning on shooting Fredo, I'll get you a screenshot in just a second. I mean, right after this cutscene it is. You okay? No, I'm not okay. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I didn't see who did it. They got away too fast. I'll tell you who did it. That backstabber, Mangano. No. Mangano? No. It couldn't have been him. We're allies. Are you crazy? Everyone on the street's saying he wants to control this city. I heard he's smuggling men and guns into Florida. He's getting ready for a war, Dominic. He's probably been playing you since the day you landed. So what are you saying? Did we hit him back? Eye for an eye. Get him now while he's weak. I know a guy, a union boss, who can get us into their warehouse. Take over the place, run Mangano out. Trust me on this. Okay. If Mangano's preparing for war, then that piece of shit's gonna get one. And Dominic, you'll need more muscle. You got a lot of good guys in your family. Make one of them another capo. This is your best chance to wipe out those bastards. Don't waste it. Oh my god, look at my house! But the good news out of this is, I get to promote another made man to make him a capo. So now I'll have two capos. I'll be like a semi-complete family. Only thing that's left is the fact that I need an underboss, which that won't come until later. But more importantly, I needed a bruiser and now I can promote one. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, 
We're now going to have to find ourselves another made man. We're going to get on to that in just a little bit. And I'm going to make sure this new capo is in my crew because I'm going to need him to take down some territories. But we'll get on to finding that made man in just a moment. Remember that screenshot I promised you? Take a good look at these guys. Does these guys look like Manganos to you? No. They look like those guys that Hyman Roth have hanging around him. In fact, that guy who was shooting was the guy we happened to save back in part 8, if I'm not mistaken. That was like 10 parts ago. No, not part 8, rather. No, no, it was part 9, actually. So it was practically 7 parts ago. Report... I mean, oh man, I'm, I can't math. What the hell? I'm starting to sound like Scott Steiner here because I'm angry at the fact that uh, Dominic didn't even think to look out the window. And now he may be picking a fight that he can't win, or okay, technically can't win, cutscene wise, against Mangano. So, uh, yeah, just let that sink in that the guy we actually risked our lives for and almost got shot up for to rescue from the Granados just opened fire on me. Let that sink in. Now, let's go and get our main man who just so happens to be here in the graveyard. Bernard Uzano. So let's talk to him because he looked like he is a bruiser and a medic. How come you don't work with the rest? Maybe it's because you want to work with the best. I have skills you might need, but I don't like fights. Let's talk. Maybe it'll work out. Tell me about yourself. I got customers I never laid a hand on. I mean, the threat of a fight is more powerful than a fight itself, right? Because you get a guy believing that you're going to tattoo his face, and he'll pay. All right. What are you best at? Yeah, my old man used to beat me pretty good, but I won the biggest fight. The last fight. He lives in my house now. All right, Bernard, let's see your bio here. Sole survivor of hostage swap gone wrong. Keeps an eye over his shoulder. Personality, warrior. Oh, God, you're OCD, aren't you? Ah, crap. So we've got a, a drunkard, two ladies' men, an OCD guy, and, well, a regular Hellraiser. Lovely. I want in. So you sure about this? Yeah, you're the one I need. Welcome to the family. We found Bernard in the Florida graveyard, yes, and he's right next to this crypt here. So I have a bruiser, and I have a promoted bruiser, so that's all well and good. And then there's this racket here, which is a porn studio, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Lucius, no, it's Luscious Ghost, that's what it is. And this is where a corrupted official is located. And unfortunately, before I could actually up, get to said corrupted move. official, I end up being attacked by the Granados. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, don't mind the guys out here doing porn or anything. And if you're looking for the safe, you had to break open the door with the uh, loser in order for you to find the safe. And I just... They get riddled with bullets because of the, well, the fact that I'm not really coordinated and have my bearings. That's okay. We're gonna take care of every last one of these granados here. It's funny that these guys are uh, pretty much protecting the corn from because they're human traffickers. Problem with this is they're both got hijacked, and that's why they're working with the granados to the deck. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? But whatever the case, all of the enemies that are going to be coming your way will be on the high area where that uh, up there on the roof. Which, by the way, again, you need the cruiser to get up there too. And also, there's going to be more uh, granados the moment you try to get very close to the manager. And for some reason, I couldn't get up there. Or, no, I could, it's just the fact that I couldn't see to 
coordinate the camera. Come on. Come on. Oh. Never mind. It was that guy that was shooting me in the back. Yeah, by the time we're done with this, I do believe our good friend will give us some uh, money in order for to run this racket. After all, he don't want to die, does he? Oh crap, I'm gonna have to go up these stairs here. And that's another thing. Like I said, the closer you are to the racket boss, the uh, more the goons will appear. So let's just go and hassle this guy out of money and- Oh, wait! I guess he wasn't going to give up the racket so easily. It's this one, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go on ahead and put all of my soldiers out on this mission here. And it'll be all well and good. Now then. Slams aren't going to do it. Physical violence isn't going to do it. Alright, how about firearms? No. Uh, I guess his weakness is supposed to be threatening customers. Well, someone just got killed. I guess. Well, that works too. Let's just, uh, threatening him enough so I can get some money out of him. I think I missed the opportunity to see the boiling point. Listen to me. I'll let you keep running this place. But you're gonna run it for me now. Do I make myself clear? Christ, I get your point. The racket's yours, okay? Now, Luscious Entertainment has been acquired, and my god, this is a good racket to have. The last part of this racket is in Cuba, sadly, so you won't be able to get the bonus of getting cheaper guards, which would get you more money. So capturing this racket would make things a whole lot better. Now then, speaking of rackets, or the bastards who keep hitting my rackets, let's go deal with the Granados, shall we? First off, this made man for the Granados is right here in this area. And we're gonna have to kill him with a Molotov cocktail. Thankfully, I have enough Molotovs to burn him alive with. I got him, I got him. Of course, he's not without help. Let's see if I can get a trick shot here. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, wait, how'd he survive that? I shot him too. What the hell? Uh, I guess I shouldn't have no scoped. It would have killed them both. But, speaking of no scopes, Guys backing up this maid man that needs to be killed are all ex Call of Duty players. The reason why I say X is because of the fact that all of them were caught cheating by microtransactions during a tournament. And Johnny Salazar, the guy who I just burned with a go with a Molotov cocktail, is dead. Let's go on to the next made man, shall we? Now, this made man in question, I'm gonna have to finish him off by killing him with a bottle. He is a Rosado made man. I think one of the last two to get. Well, this, this may way. look difficult, it right, yeah. obviously is not. You're just gonna have to use physical violence and not actually use a gun. No Alright, that's it. Ream them up, guys. Not so tough or now. let me oh, just finish him off, I guess. But his brains are splattered on the wall, no less. Let's see. Hold on. Nope. I'll what just grab this no, right no, here. No. This nice bottle of Miller Lite and just beam it right at this guy's head. He's in the way. Or his back, one of the two. I got another one. Hey, come over here, you. Now, I'm doing this for a reason. Because sometimes when you're trying to... Oh, yeah, definitely use those stun moves. Because sometimes when you're trying to kill this guy, 
and I just beam the bottle at his crotch. He'll try to run away and try to attack your other guys, and they'll end up beating him up. So, using a bottle on him can be difficult, but I just cracked him in the nuts with a broken bottle. So, let's go on ahead and put some defense here and Lucius Entertainment. Oh, and Matthew Tilden is the corrupt official there. I'll show him off at the end of the part. But, whatever the case, I'm going to send some goons to deal with that made man that's taking my turf, or trying to at least. Alright, next made man that is here. Well, yeah, we're going to have to put a bullet in his head. Let's see. The best way to put a bullet in this guy's head is to... Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Where is he? Where is he? He's right there enjoying the sea breeze. And now his brains are in the river. Well, that guy's dead. Well, we only got at least... Oh, wait, there was one guy I missed. Oh, crap, there's one guy I missed. Uh, let me just kill off these schmucks and then I will see you guys in a little bit because there was a guy I have to miss. And, yeah. It was a very important one, one that you needed your bruiser to get. So, yeah, let's just wipe these guys out. And I will see you guys in a little let's bit. Let's get together. Because, uh, yeah, there's a made man that needs to die. So, uh, I'll be right back. Now, the next victim on our list just so happens to be under the bridge. Which is ironic, because all of his soldados used to be internet trolls. But enough about that. We're going to be here for two reasons. One, there's a hidden money bag in the bushes. Yeah, people obviously can barely see this, because it's camouflaged in the green, but... If you walk up just a little bit closer, you'll find yourself with a thousand dollars. And by the way, that does not respawn. It's a one-time thing. There are other caches. I mean, there was a cache of money and weapons in the graveyard. Two thousand dollars to be precise. But enough about that. Let's go on ahead and deal with the bruiser assassination. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is. You're going to have to try to make it to where you yourself can't be seen, but your bruiser can stealth kill the made man. And that's pretty much all we need to worry about is uh, stealth killing the made man. So, with just a little bit of He's in the finagling way. here, we can just keep ourselves seen. From being seen and actually have him to shake that guy like a freaking piece of bread. Yeah. A piece of bread that bleeds to death. So with Paul Morales' death, we now go on to our next made man. Which just so happens to be the final Tony Rosado made man. And all we need to do is throw this chump off of a high ledge. <coughs> Now, all of his made men, however, used to be bullies that frequent a movie theater. Tony Rosado only picked them up because Carmine thought that they were good old, I mean, good earners, I guess. The only thing they earned was like ten dollars here, some good money there, some jump change here, and actually stole a few side boy shine box. Other than that, they haven't really earned much for Tony. But he's pretty much got his capital watch over. Who, by the way, is just as irresponsible as they are. He got us covered. Alright. All we need to do is just put a bullet in this guy's ass, and the other guy's ass, and then pull this chump off of the building. That's it. 
thousands, right? But when you realize the capos are packing level 2 and level 3 weapons, it's not as easy as you think, especially if you don't have bulletproof armor. Head bounces better than most, you know? So, with that like said... That is the end of Philip Giotti. And the end of every single made man of Tony Rosado. Well, Tony is the last thing we need to kill, by the way. It's time for us to take down the last made man that we're going to be able to touch for the Granados. Because the literal last late made man for the Granados is in Cuba, yours, and we won't be able to get, get there until that. certain no events. So, you're going to need a engineer for this. Hang on. And Almost there. if you have an engineer on hand, by all means, make sure you use it to open the gates. Here I was talking about some fist fights for you guys, they all of a sudden fell down. But all these guys here that have been hanging out in this game, they used to be insurance salesmen. Well, by insurance, I mean insurance for yachts and boats. Stay calm. At the time when ferries were still a thing. The problem is, the yachts and boats that they were selling were by them. Man, you have to look at the back. So be careful. But anyway, as I was saying, the yachts and boats these guys were selling I need you to happen to be those awful rickety tugboats that you see from Steamboat Willie. It is the 1950s after all. So, on to killing the made man for real. This guy, all you need to do is shoot him in the knee because again, he has a level 3 magnum. And if you can disarm him, by all means do so. But then again, be warned, if you disarm him, you're gonna kill him. So, you gotta shoot him in the kneecaps. Whatever the case, I scrambled his brain for all the trouble he gave me, and that is the end of Theodore Ruiz. All that's left now is that one Granado soldier who is right now attacking my base. And again, let me remind you all that it was a mistake on my part. I underestimated this part that I was going to show off the corrupted officials in the next episode. And this base actually has a corrupted official. Mind you, if these guys get killed by one of your men, you're going to have the cops on you. Like, everywhere, and it'll be hard to get rid of them. And now, let's go on ahead and take this final territory here. Where are your friends now, huh? Well, clearly they ain't protecting you. So why don't you let me run things, huh? Okay, Hefe, you can have the racket. Just lay off me. And with that, we have ransacked just about every single territory in Florida. I should have shown off the last Granados area being ransacked, but... This works fine because the Rosados are the next family that's going to die in Part 17. Trust and believe. But because of what we did, we pretty much gotten ourselves a solid number of rackets. Aside from quick repair, bonus to uh our crime ring, like what we just got, and also more ammo for our guns. And if you haven't already noticed, or haven't started to notice, the Mongamo family would already have one territory established here in Florida. Up until you actually meet game events, you don't want to take that territory, but then again, you don't really want to deal with Mangamo. I'm not, because I'm dealing with Tony Rosado, and also the corrupted officials in Part 17. See you guys in the next episode. This is Army Man 95. Peace out.